So welcome to the first tutorial in the HTML and CSS series and I have previously recorded this series um, back in early 2012 but I'm re-recording it because back then I was using an older microphone which was just a cheap one that didn't really work very well. So I am now using my proper microphone which I've had for a long time. Uh, I'm using this one because it's a lot better and on the previous series it was hard to hear, the quality wasn't very good and things like that. So this is the re-record of the series and this is in 1080p of course. So um, for those of you who don't know, HTML is the programming language, well it's not actually a programming language, I shouldn't call it that. It's actually a markup language and the markup language is what uh, structures your site, uh, you put all your content in your markup language, in your markup script, you put things like um, where your images go, what images to get, all sorts of things like that. So, for starters, what we're going to do is we're going to go to File and then Save. By the way, I'm using Notepad++, this is what I would recommend. And then on my desktop, I'm just going to create a folder called HTML. And inside this folder is where I'm going to store my HTML files. Now, for now, all I can do is just do tutorial1.htm, like that, since this is the first tutorial. And in here, what I'm going to do is we're going to create the starting code. So in here, what we can do is HTML, and then uh, this is called a tag. And you put a less than sign and then a greater than sign afterwards. So that's how we start the tag. And everything in between this is going to be what goes inside the tag and then we've got to close off the tag so to close off the tag we do the same thing except here we put a forward slash and that indicates that we're closing the tab off the tag off now the next tag inside here is the head tag and again we've got to close this tag off with most tags you've got to close them off afterwards then here we can do title and then we can close this off as well. Now, you may have noticed that I'm using tab spaces here. These tab spaces aren't actually needed. You can do it like that. But for the purpose of making our code clear and easy to read and everything, I'm going to do it like this. Now, in between these title tags, we put, if I open up Google Chrome, for example, and I'll bring it over here, you see where it says new tag up here? That is. Uh, that's where the title goes and to the Explorer you've got like the heading and the ta tabs and everything like that they all show the title so for the title I'm just gonna put my site it doesn't really matter for now and then in here what we're gonna do is body so this is outside of the head tag but inside the HTML tag and before we continue the head tag is for all the stuff that isn't displayed on screen, like linking to other files and things like that. The body tag shows everything that is on on the screen, so everything that is visible to the user. Now in here is where we're going to put all of our content. So uh, I'll just give you like a brief uh, demonstration on how HTML works. So in Notepad++, what we can do is we can just go to Run and Launch in Chrome. So this opens up Google Chrome and you see it's got My Site. But obviously this is our site, but what's so great about it? We can't really do anything on it. This is an absolutely terrible site. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some content on it. So hello, welcome to my site. Save that. And this is how you just put plain text on the screen. You just type out the text inside your body tag, wherever you want it to go. So launch in Chrome. And you see it says, welcome, uh, hello, welcome to my site. So that is how to put text on your screen. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll be going through some tags and things like that. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next tutorial.